Jet is on the way. It's going to drop a lot of rain between today and the weekend. We have a Met Office Amber warning in place from tomorrow across parts of eastern Scotland, but many other. Well, you sit outside again, Bob. That can only mean one thing. It would appear that the uh, UK Met Office is getting their knickers in the twist about another severe storm heading our way. This time it's called Babbit, or Babel, or Babbit. I don't bloody know. They've called it some stupid name. Babbit, Babble, whatever. It's, anyway. Wondering if this time it's going to be uh, actually warranting of a name. Because that Angus was just, oh, that was just a damp squid. That was neither end of there, that one. So, anyway, what's the date today? Well, anyway, it's half twelve today, so what I'm going to do. Well, like, this is a very ill prepared video, I can't remember what date it is today. Hang on a second. Your watch isn't working. There we are. Tuesday the 17th, sorry. I made a bit of a cat's ass that intro, didn't I? Never mind. Tuesday the 17th, Hurric uh, Storm Babbit, Babble. So, anyhow, it's half twelve at the minute. Sun shining. Light wind. Hazy sunshine. Pipe full of aromatic Kentucky nugget. And a cup of tea. Rachel just spilled all over me lighter. So here's today's report. Same again tomorrow. Let's see if this one's worth its salt. It probably won't be because you always get the knickers in the twist about weather and bloody that. But it never amounts to anything. It always turns out to be a somewhat damp squib. Still, it's a nice day for a cup of tea and a pipe. I'll speak to well, it's day two of the Storm Babbit weather report. I'm beginning to think that the weathermen are frustrated newsreaders because the newsreaders get to report on all the exciting stuff, all the, uh, all the impending doom and the wars that are going on, and who's fighting who and all that nonsense. So they try and build up their part to over dramatize the weather. Oh, we're gonna storm from this and weather from that. And we're all gonna. And they did it with uh, Agnes. And now they're doing the same with ba ba Babel. Badel. Do you know, I cannot for the life of me remember the name of this bloody storm, but it, the weather map showing that it's coming up from the south. So, uh, southwest, which is a good idea. That doesn't look much like a storm, does it? And it's supposed to be coming in from that sort of direction. So, you know. I think they're... Uh, I think they're playing the emotions a bit again. <coughs> but uh, they're still trying to whip us up into a frenzy. <laughs> For God's sake. If you want a more... But, you know, the most accurate weather report you could possibly hope is if you just pull back the curtains and look out the bloody window. I'm still on the aromatic stuff today. The, uh, I don't know if you can hear me with that plane flying over it, it's been quite noisy now. I couldn't even tell you what sort of plane that is. It's a big bugger though. Do you want to have a look? Yeah. Do you see that? That plane there? Fighting to stay aloft amongst this the, the rain clouds and the storm and the wind. <laughs> have you ever have you ever heard so much bollocks in all your life than the British weather forecast? <gasps> Run to the hills, we're all gonna die in a thousand years of flood and reckon. So anyway. It's dinner time. It's uh 
half twelve. Time for a bowl and a brew. And you can't beat it. You can't beat it. A bowl and a, a pipe, a brew and a ponder. The future is bright. Turned quite dramatically, Storm Babette is on the way, bringing some very heavy rain and some strong winds later this week. Well, it's, uh, it's five o'clock in the afternoon now, on uh, Wednesday the 18th of October. The clouds have, uh, the clouds have come in and it's uh, spitting a bit so slightly. So, I'm... Uh, I'm thinking it might be beginning. I'm thinking, oh, oh you, the birds are getting scared. Look, off they go. Ooh. They say there's foul weather afoot when the birds fly away. But they're all off there now. Sky's turning grey. And I don't know what's going on at the airport today, but uh, we've got a lot of planes coming in. Oh, there's another one up there. Can you see it? Can you see it? I don't know if you can see that or not. I don't know if I can zoom in. No, can't zoom in. Never mind, I'll have to do without that little experience. It looks like it's the... Uh, looks like it's a virgin. It's either a... Well, I'm not going to be peepers on I couldn't tell you what it is for sure, but anyway. It looks like the uh, the storm is making its appearance. Ooh. We'll just have to see. Ah, well, it's half past nine of a night time on Wednesday the 18th of October. And uh, as for this storm that we're still expecting, it's been raining right enough. Everything's a bit damp. But uh, I certainly wouldn't classify it as a storm. Not by a long chalk. Not by a long chalk. In fact, the rain was only about one level above spitting but it fell well short of pissing down in fact I'd go as far as to say it's the kind of rain that your mum would let you play out as long as you had a coat on <laughs> so uh, at the moment babble has been a bit of a damp squib we've had a bit of rain granted look even the tree's not swaying that much so uh, no they've done it again They've warned us of a storm, and in reality, it's just been a bit of rain. Rain, it, weatherman, make note. It's a rainstorm. It's it's raining. Okay, just say it's raining. Don't try and dress it up. It's raining. Anyway, I'm going in for a brew and a bowl. So I'll bid you good night, and I'll let you have an update in the morning. Hi. Right, well, it's the afternoon of the morning of the night before, and this storm has been. Uh, it's been chucking down a fair old bit of rain to be fair and I've just been out to do some errands and I've just come back to find that my way home has been blocked by a flood it would appear that the autumn leaves have now blocked up all the grids there's always been a fair old bit of surface water knocking about but I'm going to flip my camera around now and see what and I'll show you what I'm not going to drive through <laughs> Isn't it? There you go. Oops. Can you see that through there? Oh, sorry, I'll go that way. Yeah, so uh, it's not been quite such a damp squid. It's quite the opposite, actually. It's been chucking down quite steady. And uh, we've actually got away with it. Scotland got it quite bad. So now I'm going to have to find another way home. So there you are. Bit of drama. Bit of drama for you folks. Take care. I'll speak to you all soon.
bit scary. I nearly built an ark. <laughs> Didn't expect that on this part of the route home. Sorry it was a bit blurry, but my phone kept forking. It's going in and out of uh, going in and out of uh, focus, you know, on account of all the water splashing all over the place. But uh, hopefully that should be the end of it now because the roads now going home are a bit more substantial. But uh, if there's any more excitement, I shall uh, I'll flip this camera around and I'll tell you and let you know. But it's been quite adventurous, I must admit. For a few simple chores, it turned out to be uh, quite an odyssey, as they may say. All good fun. Got a few dramatic action photos for the uh, SJPD channel. <laughs> action photos, dramatic scenes. Ooh. I don't know. Anyway, I better crack on. I don't want to get told off. And crucially, it's kind of slowing down as it approaches the UK. So some places will be sitting under these weather fronts for many, many hours, and that could cause some problems as the rainfall re 